another dollar ninety-five. What do we do for excitement tonight? Well, I really don't know. I guess we ought to figure out something. Well, let's start figuring. Hi, Ellen. Hi. BT and I are just thinking that if you... You have a prospective customer waiting for you in the office. Oh? Uh, we'll uh, see you later. Bye. Colonel, this sounds like a pitch to get us back in the Army. If the Army wanted you boys back in, they wouldn't have to pitch. You'd be there. The way you talk, the enemy's practically at our doorstep. Could be. The armed forces are on 24-hour alert notice. Oh, I hadn't read anything about it in the paper. You won't, providing we can keep the situation under control. That's why we're appealing to specialized civilians all over the country. Naturally, Colonel, we'll do whatever we can. We will? As you no doubt know, our coastlines are peppered with vital installations, many of which are concealed. The enemy would like to know exact locations, firepower, etc., etc. Yeah, I guess they would. In many instances, vital information has already leaked out of this country. Not good with the whole world sitting on a powder keg. Precisely. Something you boys probably don't know. Hand-picked civilians are working in close cooperation with the military. That's why we want you. You mean something's actually going on right here on the West Coast? We are a prime target area. I'd like to show you boys what I mean. Well, let's go. Wait a minute. What do you want us to do? You'll find out. Now, this map shows the coastal areas, concentrating on the Oxnard Ventura district. We fly over this district every other day. I know. That's one of the reasons we're here. Now. See, this is one of the sensitive areas. The ones you're to pay particular attention to. Well, just what's there? Sorry, can't tell you that. Probably radar or guided missile installations. You said it, I didn't. We have reason to believe there's been some unhealthy snooping going on. Maybe something even more dangerous. We'd like to know how it's done, and if possible, by whom. Why can't the Army take care of this? We need someone whose presence in a helicopter wouldn't be noticed or suspected. And the whirly bird is a familiar sight in this area. How come you haven't been able to spot anything definite up to now? Because the agents we have planted on the ground have requested coverage from the air. That's why we've come to you boys. Why don't you just throw up a stake out and pick up the snoopers when they show up? No, that would only be the tail of a snake. We need them to lead us up to the head. Now, you'll fly over this area every day. Chart any unusual movements. I'll expect a regular daily report. Oh, by the way, how do you usually contact the field? Through Helen. She operates the radio in the office. Fine. Don't change your routine at all on that. If you must contact me, do it through her. She mustn't know what's going on, though. Right. Well, I think it's time we get back to the field. I guess if the colonel knew, he'd have told us. Hey, I haven't the slightest idea. Well, the colonel sure seemed worried. Yeah. Well, it's only the first day, PT. We've got to learn to keep our eyes open. Watch the roads, the farms, cars. Notice anything out of the ordinary. Okay, I'm watching. But it's going to be hard to keep track of all those cars. That white top truck down there, our job would be easy. Which truck is that? The one parked in the service station. You know, the main thing.
thing is to get familiar with the whole area. Get to know it like the palm of our hand. A lot of cars down there. I don't know how we're supposed to keep track of all of them. Well, maybe after a while a pattern will develop. You can't expect anything to register the first couple of days. same white truck we've seen before. Gets them out of the way places, doesn't it? Makes a new stop every day along with the old one. Tomorrow's project, son. We're going to follow that truck and chart all of its stops. Well, it could be anything, though, couldn't it? Yeah, but we've been waiting for some kind of a pattern to develop. This is the only one that's come along so far. What time is it? About midnight. You know that guy must sell a lot of eggs. Yeah, he made almost 30 stops. Well, what I can't figure out is, is what an egg farm and an egg delivery truck has got to do with all of this. Colonel Bentley's a specialist. We'll let him figure it out. Okay, I'll stop thinking right now. Well, just give him this map. It shows every stop the white top truck made and the chicken ranch worked on it. That was a nice ranch. You know, someday when I retire, I'd like a chicken farm. Well, if this ties in with the colonel's little spy problem, you'll probably be able to get one cheap. Colonel Bentley, please. Thank you. Colonel Bentley, uh, this is Chuck Martin. Look, I'm sorry to bother you, but I think we might have something. It's an egg delivery truck that makes a route of about 30 stops. Yes, and they're different stops every day. That's right, sir. Okay, we'll wait. We'll wait? Chuck, I'm starved. So am I, but he said he'd be right over. This is the route of our friends in the white top truck. Now, here's where they made a stop on Monday. Here's a new one they made on Tuesday. And here's another new one on Wednesday. I've got a hunch this route concerns itself with something more than delivering eggs. So have I. You say they stop at that gas station every morning? That's right. All right, you two boys be there tomorrow morning. Get back to me after you've made a contact. Suppose we do meet these characters. What do we talk about? Eggs, of course. Speaking of eggs, let's go and eat. Okay. I'm gonna have a steak that thick. Baked potatoes, salad. What are you gonna have? An omelet. <laughs> fresh ranch eggs in a long time. Can we buy some? Of course. How many dozen would you like? Oh, I think one will be okay. Uh, not these, if you don't mind. Well, what's the difference? Eggs are eggs. <laughs> I think you'll like these better. They're extra large. Well, I don't know. I kind of... Uh, how much do we owe you? 78 cents. Thank you. What was? Switching those eggs. I only did it because I like brown eggs better than white ones. You're kidding. I thought you did it because the guy was acting a little peculiar. You mean because he wouldn't let me have the first box I picked up? Yeah. I never thought of it. Put this down in the notebook. The man was six feet tall, weighed about 180 pounds, blue eyes, no distinguishing marks, and spoke with a foreign accent.
want this modern service. Three cooked eggs before they deliver them. Wait a minute, don't peel that egg. Why not? I'm hungry. Put it back in the box. I don't understand. Contact Helen at the field. Have her call Bentley at that number he left us. Leave a message. We're coming in immediately. I've heard a lot of stories about enemy sabotage. This is the first time I've heard of a country being destroyed by hard-boiled eggs. Might not be as funny as you think, P.T. equals four. Looks as though we struck pay dirt at last. You know, I haven't seen this trick pulled since I was a kid. Well, those better strike a familiar note to me. You know how this is done? You write on a raw egg with a seed to go. Boil it. The writing disappears from the shell, then shows up on the boiled egg white inside. I'm not so interested in how it's done. I'm interested in what they've written. X equals seven. X equals seven position of one of our secret guided missile embankments. Y equals four. Y, four, the same. You have struck pay dirt. Yeah, providing the owners of the all-American egg farm aren't aware that these are in our possession. Replace those with a dozen hard-boiled new eggs and get them to me on the double. Yes, sir. But if these people are enemy agents using the eggs to get vital information out of the country, why don't you just go on out to the ranch and arrest them? Because the man and woman who operate that farm are only a small part of the espionage ring. If we close in too soon, we tip our hand and the entire ring goes underground. Won't be easy getting the box of eggs back in the truck. It'll be far more difficult if their long-range plans succeed. Yeah. What's so important about this particular box of eggs? I'm almost sure that the coated eggs were meant for one man in particular. The man we've been watching for weeks. The ringleader. Exactly. He's been receiving the top secret information and passing it to someone else higher up. If that pattern is suddenly interrupted, all of our work will go for nothing. But suppose we can't get the egg back. That's a chance we'll have to take. Now, here's what I want you to do. What about our date tonight? What date? Come on, B.T., we got work to do. I'm with you. Pick you up at 7.30? Fine. package I picked up at the express office. Yeah. Tomorrow we make two deliveries. And the coded X to Gorgi. But what else? Our little electronic arrangement. That soon? That soon. Time's going short. Boy, what a hornet's nest we stirred up. You've got just one job to do now. Let's get those eggs back before they notice they're missing. Yeah, just like that. The colonel and his men have the tough job. They've got to cover every single military installation. Well, there's the ranch. What'd you do that for? Now they'll know we're around. I want them to. We'll land a couple of miles away. A couple of miles away? Sure, then they'll think we're long gone. And then we walk back. We walk back. We're supposed to take Helen dancing tonight. You better change your plans. They're walking. That copter again. I think that helicopter's flying over here for a reason. Don't get jumpy on me now. Oh, I have a right to be jumpy. We haven't been able to speak to Gorgie for weeks. We don't have to speak to him. He's getting the information he needs, and that's all that matters. Yeah, but he's being watched. Might be watching us, too. 
Why, what are we going to do? Just what we were sent here to do. Away. They won't see it here. I hope not. We'll just wait. I'm sure we haven't missed a single installation. Excellent. Excellent. No matter how excellent, you shouldn't have come here in the first place. She's right, Gorgie. Suppose you were followed. I was not. They've been watching you for weeks. That's why we've had to deliver messages to you on those hard-boiled eggs. Now, if you've caused any slip-up with your stupidity... There will be no slip-up. We know all we need to know. What makes you say that? Because I've received the orders. We've got to be finished and out of this area by noon tomorrow. Dark enough? Yeah. But don't forget the eggs. Disturb us. This is very delicate work. I do not want them to explode just yet. Once you get those things put together, what happened? Did you ever see an electronically controlled bomb explode? These will be set to an ultra high frequency wavelength. At the proper moment, they will be beamed into action. Of course, our assignment is only one of many on both your coastlines. What are you going to do with us? Farron will keep you company until we leave. And then find a way to dispose of you. Bravo, come in, please. Where have you been? Never mind. Get this message to Bentley right away. Scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs? Helen, look in your file under Whirlybird and take out that letter addressed to you. Open it. It's quick.
about a two-hour head start. Our only chance is to hit every stop that truck ever made. Well, the colonel's been alerted. Yeah, he'll have his men cover every military installation. All we can do is keep our eyes open and hope we can spot the truck. Left. We've got to find that truck. There, look, Chuck. Why'd you give him a call? I thought the Colonel said no radio. The fact of the fire now, there's no need for radio silence. Chuck, look out there. Hey, uh, listen, Helen. Honey, it wasn't his fault. Uh, Colonel Bentley can explain everything. That's all right. He's already explained. You are wonderful. Well, then we can have a real date tonight. I'm afraid not. You see, I already have a date. Oh, uh, by the way, boys, 